All right, hi everyone. Welcome to the Healthy Beverage Initiative informational session. My name is Kim Guess and I'm a dietitian with the Wall at Work Wellness Program. And we are also have Annie Mitchell. Annie, you wanna introduce yourself? Sorry. Hi everybody, my name is Annie Mitchell. Um, I'm a staff associate at Cal Zero Waste. Um, I've been on staff for two years now, um, and I'm really excited to be introducing the Healthy Beverage Initiative with Kim. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So here's our agenda. This is gonna be a pretty brief session, under 30 minutes, but we're gonna talk about the background of the Healthy Beverage Initiative. We're also gonna talk about our three-week program for faculty and staff and what it can do for you and how you can actually help others by participating in this program. And Annie's gonna talk about the Philip Forward app, um, which may be new to a lot of people. So she'll explain how that works. Um, so this session is really just for any UC Berkeley employees who are interested in what we're doing to create a healthier beverage environment and um, also wanna participate in a program themselves. So um, here's a little background on the Healthy Beverage Initiative. You may or may not have heard of it before, but it's a system-wide initiative. So all the other UCs are participating and the goals are to reduce sugar sweetened beverage consumption and promote tap water as a healthier alternative. And it aligns with our food and beverage choices policy, which I'm also responsible for. Um, and that policy applies to pretty much anywhere you buy food or drinks on campus, including restaurants, retail, vending, concessions, um, dining halls, and uh, meetings and events. So we've had this policy for a couple of years now, and um, it the policy is all about choices. So. Um, the policy says that, you know, we should have more options of, of healthier beverages, it doesn't necessarily restrict, it just um, ensures that there's plenty of healthy options available wherever you get food or drinks on campus. So um, in addition to what we're already doing with the food and beverage policy, this initiative helps us update water fountains with bottle fillers or converts them to hydration stations so that people have more places to um, get water and also encourages reuse of um, bottles. We are also doing some promotional signage and data collection, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. So here's the process that we've gone through with the Healthy Beverage Initiative. Um, so what we had to do first was some baseline mapping. So we wanted to know where do we have hydration stations and water fountains and where do we need more? So we actually had undergraduate nutrition students do an audit along with an intern from the Berkeley Food Institute. So between those students, they checked every single building, every single floor on campus and identified every cooler um, hydration station and water fountain. So using this data that we collected, we were able to um, help update the Berkeley Food Institute foodscape map and the Berkeley mobile app. Um, and so these are great tools to use if you wanna find out where is a hydration station near you, or maybe you have a meeting in another building and you wanna know where to fill up your bottle, you can check out the map. Um, and the app makes it really easy because you can actually see your location there. So it's a Berkeley mobile, not the UC Berkeley app. There's two different apps that are pretty similar. Um, so what this data collection found was that we had on campus 145 hydration stations, 50 gooseneck bottle fillers, which are retrofit onto existing water fountains and 393 water fountains. We actually have quite a bit, but we still found that there are several buildings that have no place to fill a bottle. Um, through the data collection, we also did some mapping of sugar sweetened beverage outlets, and we found that there were 94 places that sell sugary drinks on campus, including about 70 vending machines. And um, Berkeley Food Institute also completed a logo 
um, audit or survey in fall 2019, and they found that sugary drinks were 56% of product availability and 67% of beverage logo advertisements. So this shows that we had a little bit of work to do trying to get more healthier options out there. So um, next we use this data, like I mentioned, to determine needs, identify locations of where we could add more bottle fillers. So we try to prioritize locations with high traffic and places that have nowhere to fill a bottle. Um, but we also had to take into account ADA compliance, um, testing the water in the building for safety, getting building approval. So it's quite actually a complicated process. Um, the next step is installation, which is what we're doing now. And this was very much impacted by the pandemic, um, short staffing, equipment shortages, all kinds of um, barriers, but we are in the process of doing this. Um, and it's actually quite expensive to install um, hydration stations, but the good news is, is that they are kind of be, by default added to new buildings and renovated buildings, which just makes it much easier. Um, so we are working with facility services on the installation and involving various trades, including plumbers, carpenters, electricians, and painters. So it really takes a village just to um, add one hydration station. Um, the next step is marketing, which we are beginning next week. We are putting up posters at several hydration stations. We also have some magnets that we're gonna put up all over um, on various bottle fillers and fountains and, and hydration stations. We have the faculty staff program that we're gonna talk about in just a minute. Um, we also have a Cal message going out. We have a social media campaign um, that's also beginning around the same time as the fact staff program. And we have a website. So for the posters, we're using our kind of catchphrase, water made this, which is based off a design developed by a system-wide healthy beverage initiative um, from Dr. Suchi Huang, a marketing professor at Stanford, and Dr. Anisha Patel, a water promotion expert also at Stanford. Um, so the, the social media campaign is mostly for students because they tend to use social media more than faculty and staff, but it's really open to anybody. Um, on campus, and we'll be giving away some prizes there weekly. Same thing with the fact staff program. Um, and we, um, at the very bottom here, says Cal Zero Waste. We're working with Cal Zero Waste quite a bit to cross promote um, their Fill It Forward app and our healthy beverage initiative efforts. Um, and we're also going to be working with uh, Zero Waste October with the Zero Waste Coalition to promote drinking tap water. Okay, so here's the, the three-week healthy lifestyle program that I mentioned. This is for UC Berkeley faculty and staff. It begins Monday, September 20th, and it will last for three weeks. It's similar to other healthy lifestyle programs that we offer where we have a weekly newsletter and weekly prizes, and then we'll have a grand prize at the end. We're also doing giveaways for all participants while supplies last. Um, as of now, with the number of people we have signed up, we should have plenty. And um, so the giveaways we have are the Fill It Forward sticker, which Annie can explain in a few minutes. And we also have a Healthy Beverage Initiative branded reusable straw. It's pretty cool. It's um, stainless steel. It's telescoping. So it, it's kind of short and then it, it can um, grow longer. And it has a um, little brush you can use to clean it, and it has an aluminum case to carry it around in, so you can um, reduce your single-use plastic by reusing your straw. Um, and this program will include resources, motivation, accountability, and education. Um, each week there will be a different theme that includes all of this. Um, so for the weekly prizes, we're going to be doing $50 uh, gift cards to campus restaurants. So um, if you're back on campus, you can get a few free meals using that. And, um, and then we'll also do a bigger gift card as the grand prize. So um, I'll include the link to register at the end, but it's 
it's on our Healthy Beverage Initiative webpage, and I encourage you to sign up. It's a kind of an easy program. Um, you can join with your coworkers, and it will encourage you to drink water and um, just learn more about what that means, what water does for us, and um, how to choose you know, more sustainable options. And I mentioned the Instagram campaign. So this also begins on September 20th and it'll last for six weeks. So again, this is open to all UC Berkeley students, staff and faculty. Um, similar to the other program, we will also be giving away $50 campus restaurant gift cards for um, each week for six weeks. And if you're interested, we have more information on our HBI webpage. Um, but basically we want people to create Instagram posts and to use our hashtag water made this and tag be well Cal, that's the UHS Instagram handle. And um, you could post something like a selfie with your favorite reusable bottle or um, a picture of uh, one of our hydration stations. And we really wanna tie in nature to this too. So maybe it's just a picture of you in nature by a lake or the ocean or a river, um, anything really related to water and health. So we'll pick our favorite post each week and we'll also pick one at random. And um, so two, two prizes will be given away each week. Okay, so next up, I'll pass it over to Annie. Awesome, thank you, Kim. Um, so I just wanna introduce Cal Zero Waste, the department that I'm a part of before I jump into the Bullet Forward app. Um, so for context, Cal Zero Waste is part of the facilities um, services on campus. So um, we are comprised of two different um, types of staff. We have four student staff who work on different projects to help implement sustainability throughout campus. And then we also have full-time staff, um, two who are dedicated um, specifically to zero waste on campus. And then we also are in charge of servicing um, and trucking all of the trash um, on campus. So a little bit about some of the projects that we're running right now. Um, I'm in charge of the Refreshing Refills program and our whole goal here is to encourage reuse over landfill. Um, so for this program, we're partnering with Philip Ford, which I will tell you a little bit about in the next slide. Um, but basically Refreshing Refills, our whole goal is to help. Um, is it hard to hear me? Can you guys hear me all right? I'm so sorry about this. I'm that I'm outside right now. Um, let me know if at any point you can't hear me. Um, so basically our whole goal with refreshing refills is to um, help implement um, reuse and help kind of encourage people to get the intention of reuse in their head. And that's not just for, you know, the obvious uh, ditch the single use plastic and use your reusable water bottle. We also encourage that in every facet of your life. So for example, if you have pens, um, Okay, sorry. Um, you guys hear me better now that my camera's off? I'm so sorry, I'm on my hotspot right now. Um, yeah, we can hear you better now. Okay, thank you so much. I'm so sorry, y'all. Um, so basically, if you have a pen, we just encourage you to, rather than throw it out when you run out of ink, just to just get an ink cartridge and therefore you um, can keep reusing your pens when your ink runs out, for example. So we're just trying to help implement reuse across every facet of your life um, and really help encourage you to think about use over landfill. And then we're also working on the single use plastic elimination policy and the research behind this. So this is a policy that was approved by the chancellor and it dictates that all um, non-essential single-use plastics will be eliminated from our campus by 2030. So this is definitely going to impact every sector of campus, including everyone here. Um, and so our, it's our goal to just educate people about this policy that's going to be in place um, and um, help get non-essential single-use plastics off of campus. And next, I think we have a video to show from um, Philip Woodward. At Philip Forward, we believe choosing to reuse is a simple act of generosity that shows love for our planet and the people on it. 
we created the Fill It Forward app to help you track the environmental impact that you're making while also contributing to giving projects around the world. Here's how it works. Download the free app and add the Fill It Forward tag to your reusable items, whether it's a water bottle, coffee mug, Sorry, my um, battery is running low apparently. Let me uh, plug it in and then I'll restart the video. Technical difficulties, whoops. Okay, I'll try to restart it a little bit later. Download the free app and add the Fill It Forward tag to your reusable items, whether it's a walk. Download the free app and add the Fill It Forward tag to your reusable items, whether it's a water bottle, coffee mug, or bag. Then start making an impact in three easy steps. Fill it, scan it, give it, and repeat. Every time you reuse, we hope you appreciate the impact you're making. Scan anywhere, at home, the office, the grocery store, and even your local coffee shop. With every reuse, you'll divert another single-use item and unlock donations to one of our charitable partners. Together, we've helped fund hundreds of global giving projects and eliminated millions of single-use items from ending up in our landfills and oceans. Join our Fill It Forward community, a community that's always giving. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. All right. So um, basically, just reiterate what you saw in that video. Um, Fill It Forward is very simple. All you have to do is just get the fill it forward scannable sticker and then you place it on your reusable water bottle. Most people stick it on the bottom, um, but you can also stick it on the side so that it's easy to remember to scan it. Um, and then we just ask that you download the fill it forward app. It's um, easily accessible on the app store or the Google store. Um, and then you scan your sticker every time you refill your water bottle through the fill it forward app. Um, and this just helps us um, track the usage of how many people are refilling their water bottles on campus. Um, and then it also updates your environmental footprint real time. So you can see the environmental footprint of you reusing over using a single use plastic bottle. Um, and then it also donates uh, money every time that you scan your water bottle to a different water project, um, either in America or abroad. Um, and Gustavo asked where we can get the stickers. Um, so Kim will be um, giving those out with the giveaway, um, but we can also provide those to you through Cal Zero Waste um, education events. Um, and Kim, I think, can explain that more um, in depth with how um, HBI can get them to you. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was a good explanation of Fill It Forward. Um, it's essentially a really great way to help us track our um, our refill progress on campus and then help remind people to just keep refilling their water bottle um, while also you know being able to see the real impact of you reusing as well as the humanitarian impact of you reusing. Thank you all so much. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. Thank you, Annie. Um, yeah, so through our Water Made This Three Week Healthy Lifestyle program, we are including a Philip Forward sticker as a giveaway. So um, we'll have two giveaway options. Um, one day will be at UHS on the 20th and the other day will be on, um, let's see, Wednesday the 15th at the Campanile. So if you register for the program, you just let us know your name, show us that you've downloaded the app and we'll give you the sticker. If you know you're not gonna use the app, then you don't have to take a sticker. Um, or if you're not gonna use the straw, you don't have to take that either. You, they're both optional, but, um, we are giving them away uh, while supplies last. And um, like Annie said, it does help UC Berkeley tracking. We get some data from this program. So when you use the Cal sticker, it's associated with the UC Berkeley account. 
Um, you can actually buy Philip Forward products from their website um, and you can still use them. They'll still have the same benefits to you and donating to water projects, but it won't track um, as part of UC Berkeley. So that's the benefit of getting one of these Cal stickers. And they're cute. They say Cal and they're yellow. So um, if you are interested in giving that a try, then make sure and sign up for our program. All right. So that's all we have for you. Um, here's our contact information. If you have more questions, we have a link to um, the Healthy Beverage Initiative website here. Uh, I can also put it in the chat. Oops, let's see. Oh, Corey put it in the chat. Thank you. Um, so we can take any questions if you have any. I see there was one question earlier about um, the difference between a hydration station and a bottle filler. The terminology is a little confusing and we sometimes use them interchangeably. Um, but basically when we say hydration station, we generally mean the full station that's on the wall. It usually has one or two water fountains and then it has a big bottle filler. It usually has a bottle counter on there um, and it may or may not have a filter. So that's usually what we mean when we say hydration station. Um, we can also call those bottle, bottle fillers because they do have a place to fill a bottle, but you can also retrofit existing fountains with just a bottle filler. So it doesn't look like quite as nice the full station, but there's various bottle fillers that you can do. One we call a gooseneck bottle filler, um, kind of shaped like this, and it has a little lever and that starts the water. Um, but there are also some that are basically like the size of a water bottle and you hold your bottle up to it and press the button and fill it. So there's a few different types. Um, so that's what we mean with the, the different terminology. Um, oh, thank you, Annie. She put the um, sticker pickup dates in the chat. Um, we're actually going to be there a little bit longer um, on the 15th. We'll be there 11.30 to 1.30 at the Campanile. And on the 20th, um, we will be there 12 to 2 at UHS on the Bancroft side. Uh, make sure you go to the Bancroft side because so the Durant side is closed for UHS operations. Are there any other questions? All right, well, we'll end the recording. Um, if you have, happen to have questions that you wanna ask using um, audio or video, then that way you won't show up on the recording. So let me end the recording now.